the high-end products that steal the show and I feel like can't be duped are what I'm bringing you today in this video. Hello friends, the lovely Emily Noel did a video not very long ago where she talked about the undupable products and I thought that is so good because you all know that I love a good dupe and I try to bring you those so very often, but sometimes we run across products that you just can't dupe. So this is a great way to talk about high-end products that are worth the money and be able to tell you I'm looking for a dupe, yes, but I haven't found one yet. So that's what I'm going to get into right now. Let's start out with one that everybody goes gaga for and it's Charlotte Tilbury. Everybody loves her powder, her airbrushed finished powder. Everybody loves her foundations. I mean, they rave about so many products in her product line, but the only product that I found from her product line that I can't dupe is this new Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is a product that has, actually it does have a counterpart which is equal to it, which Benefit did. But as far as duping it at the drugstore, you can't do it. So this has little polymers in it that when you spray it on your face or use it on a brush like I do, then you it fills in your pores. It kind of just airbrushes your face out, makes your face perfected. I really love it. I will say that even Charlotte's sprayer isn't the best sprayer that I've ever used. So you do have to kind of lean into it after you spray it. It does have a tiny bit of a fragrance. I will tell you that if you're somebody that is very sensitive to fragrance, you might not like this. It does almost smell like it's a rose fragrance. Very, very light and it doesn't stick around, but I do wanna make sure I tell you that. The spray itself makes my makeup stay in place all the whole entire day. And it does give that airbrushed effect, I feel like, to my mature skin. So this is a product that I have not been able to to find anything at the drugstore that's close to it. There are products that you can substitute for it, but none of them have a little blurring technology that this one has. And I think that's what makes it a standout product. So that one I really love from her. And then Emily talked about a couple of blushes. And for me, I just love the MAC Glow Play blushes. They're so good. This one is in Blush Please, and it is just a very neutral color. I'm going to probably pick up several of these colors because this formula to me, it's just like a moussey, really creamy, really beautiful formula. And it works into your cheeks so easy once you start to just pat it on. And it's not one that is just starkly going to show up unless you go in with it heavy handed. So if you're very fair, you're gonna be able to really blend it out. If you're very deep, you're gonna be able to deepen it up for your skin as well. And I just, I love it. It just gives the most natural looking flush. And the this particular color does that as well. But the formula on this is what's unique for me. And the other thing that I love about it is that but once it's there, it's there and it's not going anywhere all day long. And it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful, moussey texture formula that you can almost move the product around right here in the pan with your finger. That's how moussey it feels. But yeah, these are some special blushes that when I got this, I was like, ooh, I don't know of anything out there in the drugstore market that compares to that. Not even the new e.l.f. putty blushes are anything like that. So really unique, really beautiful. I also, in a video, I don't remember how long it was, probably towards the end of the year last year. It might've been my favorite um, high-end products towards the end of last year, but I hauled this in the last haul of Sephora or the last sale of Sephora and of 2020. And then I showed it to you and it is the Dior Forever Skin Corrector or her concealer, their concealer, not her. This is um, a beautiful concealer. This is a self-setting concealer, which is fantastic for a mature woman because you get to, that is just a mess of an applicator because I use this all the time, because you can just go ahead and use it, put it on and not have to set it with powder. I do occasionally, if it's warm outside, I will set this with some setting spray and a brush, but it has a great coverage to it. You don't need a ton. And I love that it's very, very thin. So again, summertime, great for summertime. When we, you know, we sweat a little bit more, we're out and about a little bit more, wearing our sunglasses a lot, 
which we should wear all the time for the UV, but we're wearing a sunglasses a lot and it gets a little bit sweaty right there, really holds up and I love that about it. It really has just a beautiful coverage on it for such a thin formula. I think it's great. Let me see what my color is. I do feel like this is just a little bit on the yellow side. I pick up something that's on the yellow or neutral side for a concealer anyway because of my dark, dark circles, and it helps cancel that out even though I do wear a color corrector. This is 1.5N. I'm not sure if this is the lightest color in their shade range. I think that there's one or two that are lighter, and you can't get them at Sephora, but you can get them on their website, so you know that. Beautiful formula that's not going to break apart during the day. It's not going to crease underneath your eyes. It's Beautiful lace pretty pretty on that crepey skin underneath there. I really love that and then Something that has been out forever and ever is the bare minerals mineral uh, foundation This is something that I have never found a dupe for I've tried lots of other mineral foundations and used them before I hit about 45 and then my skin became super dry and I couldn't use them anymore But you can use the original bare mineral mineral makeup um, They do have the a little bit more matte formula that they have on their website But this is the original and it works so good for me If i'm having a day when my foundation doesn't look very good and i'm like, oh i'm so disappointed I just go pick this up and I put it on and i'm like, oh there you go it's just beautiful. It just evens out that complexion. Using it as a mineral makeup is fantastic because it just gives a mature woman such a pretty finish without making you look dry. You know, most powder foundations or compact foundations, you put them on, you're going to look dry, you're going to look cakey, not bare minerals. It's just beautiful. It evens out your complexion and hides all of your imperfections. It's gorgeous. Love this stuff. And then this right here is something that absolutely stole my heart when it came out. And that is the cream. This isn't a bronzer. This is actually my contour shade. This is a well-loved product from Fenty Beauty. And this color is amber. So this is their cream contour. It's called Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer, but this is their cream contour color for lighter skin. This is amazing as far as the texture of it and how well it blends in this is like it's almost like a super 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 sheer blush formula but it just it blends so well i mean i can make a mistake of, of like dotting it right here to start and then feeling like oh my gosh i've got too much there and then i just start to blend and it blends out like a dream i feel like i can never make a mistake with it but the thing about it that i love is that it's a cream product and i've never found that color in a cream product which is that beautiful muddy color which gives you a contour without any sort of warmth I love that. So your contour is going to recede like it's supposed to. It looks gorgeous on mature skin, any skin. I don't care how old you are. This is a beautiful, beautiful contour. I've loved it for such a long time. I have a backup and yeah, this is a beautiful product that I don't talk about enough. Product right here makes me a little sad because we all know that Becca Cosmetics is going out of business and they just came out with the light shifter finishing veil and a bunch of light shifter products. And when they came out with this, I picked it up immediately before they even talked about it, them going out of business. And I immediately fell in love with this. And it's because it's so different. And I, when I stuck my finger in there, I'm like, that feels like no powder powder. You know how they talk about no makeup makeup or no blush blush or your lips. Put back. That's what it feels like is a texture that I, I've not felt before. It is so much better dare I say, than the Charlotte Tilbury. The Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed powder feels like powder. This doesn't feel like powder. This, you can see it's on my fingertips. So it's it's a, got a little bit of color in there. It's got a little bit of light reflecting properties in there without any glow whatsoever. It's super duper light. If you're someone that has never been able to wear powder because you're feeling like it just looks terrible on your skin because as you've gotten older, it makes you look cakey or it makes you look like you've got way too much makeup on, this powder doesn't do that. And I don't care how many times I dip into here and I go across my face, it does not make me look cakey. It perfects. It gives a little bit of light to the skin. This brush, I will make sure I link below. It's from It Cosmetics. And this is just just 
the best powder I found in a long time. You better believe that I went and I bought, I think I have four now. I'm kind of, every time I get paid, I pick one up because it's not cheap, but at the same time, I don't want to ever run out of this. And I have it in two different shades so I can have it, you know, in the summertime as well as in the winter. This is the fairest one, I believe. But it just is different. It's so different and there's no real way to describe it other than it just doesn't look like powder. It just feels super light, super airy, super refined, super thin veil. It's, there's, I don't even know, super. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it other than you just experience it. I wish that everybody could get in there and, you know, kind of feel it, but we're going through quarantine, of course. Okay, last product that I fell in love with. I don't feel like they're really dupable yet. I mean, maybe somebody will come along and do that, but the City Lips, their lip glosses, I am absolutely overjoyed in love with because of the treatment that's in here what i feel like it does for my lips does it plump your lips it it feels like it plumps up your lips yes has a little bit of a tingling sensation without the buxom really super cooling sensation that you get from those it's not like that at all i like this one this one's called san diego it's got a little bit of a coral look to it with a little bit of shimmer but I wear this every single night as my treatment at night because I'm getting those horrible vertical lines in my lips that are so, so bad. But this has seemed to really help them. In the morning, I don't notice my lines so bad because all night long, my lips have stayed hydrated and I wear it during the day over top of whatever I'm wearing as well. So I'm getting that treatment 24 seven. I get it at night, I get it in the morning. And I actually put a little bit on as I'm doing my skincare as well to help start plumping my lips up a little bit. And I just feel like this is a standout product that I haven't found at the drugstore yet, anything that's comparable. Now, I will say that Milani just very, very recently came out with their Extreme Plumping Lip Gloss. That stuff almost feels like it's got a hot cinnamon in it. This doesn't feel like anything like that. And this has like a vitamin-y smell to it. Um, and I don't really know how else to describe it, but I feel like it's got some nourishing ingredients in it because I feel like I smell that vitamin. You know, when you open your vitamin jar and you're taking your vitamins, you get a little whiff of that vitamin smell. That's kind of what this smells like a little bit. So I do know that there's probably some really good ingredients in here, which, you know, you can go on the website and figure out what the ingredients are. But I really feel like what it does is the standout beautiful product. And I love them. I think they're so great. They do have a sale on these occasionally. It's not all the time, but occasionally. And I will make sure that I list that for you guys on my Instagram or my Facebook whenever they do. But yeah, this is a product that I haven't been able to dupe yet and a product that I absolutely love. That's the last one. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Do you have a high-end product that is your standout product? I would love to hear that in the comment section below because I always love to hear your suggestions and you guys give me the best suggestions ever. So please take care of yourselves. I love you very much and I will catch you all in my next video. Have a good day. Bye friends.